Hello and welcome to the channel. Now, if this is your first time stopping in, my name is Mike and my wife, Liz and I like to take people on adventures. So it might be a theme park. It might be an interesting place to eat. It might be just an interesting place to explore. So if you like those sorts of videos, please consider subscribing and we'll go on more adventures together. Speaking of adventures, today we're heading over to Newport on the Levee. So this is a part of Northern Kentucky that is directly across the Ohio River from Cincinnati, Ohio. There are lots of places to eat and to shop, even to watch movies. I'm interested to see if there are any things that are new from the last time that we went. It's been a little while. I'd also like to grab some lunch while we're there. Maybe Tom and Chi. That could be good. But something I'd like to hear from you guys down in the comments is if you see anything around in Newport on the levee and you're like, I, I want to I wanna see more of that. I would like you to make a video on that. Let us know and uh, we might just make your wish come true. All right, so enough rambling. Let's hit the road and head to Newport. been changes yes there have been a lot of changes there's actually a lot of construction that's up right now and this building in front of me used to be a Barnes and Noble it's now called the exchange I'm not sure what that is but maybe we'll check it out Barnes and Noble just just a few months ago and now completely different. The Goldstone Creamery smells magnificent. These elevators make everything fully accessible. So these things right here are going to be planters. The lady inside of the exchange was telling me that on May 29th they're going to have a grand opening and this whole area will be completely different. Well, not completely different, but largely different. This is where the Newport Aquarium is. We'd like to take you guys here someday. Let us know if you're interested. A little bakery and cafe here. Brothers over there. Wow, it is completely different in here. You can see where some of the new shops are gonna go. Wooden Cask, brewing company here. And Bluegrass and Sass, which we just visited. On Me Street is gonna go there, and Little Spoon, the, the bakery cafe, is gonna go there. I'm not sure what this is gonna be, but uh, some kind of retail space, it looks like. Game works this way. It's so strange, it's like it's largely banned, and there's Game Works down there. The theater's on level three. I'm not sure if it's open right now. I'd have to, I'd have to see. But there's a, the stairway's blocked off but uh, there's an elevator here. All right, so uh, let's get some Tom G. Over the grilled cheese donut. Here's the menu. What do you guys think I should get? Oh man, so what I got was the cinnamon crunch donut and the creamy basil tomato soup. This has creamy tomato soup, fresh garlic, and basil. This has cinnamon and sugar, graham cracker, marshmallow, mascarpone, and grilled donut. Oh, and it looks obscenely wonderful. Gee, I wonder what's going on right there. Huh. It's 
So the creamy basil and tomato soup is really good. It has a nice flavor. Not too salty, which I think uh, sometimes happens, but uh, it's good. Very nice for dipping too. So while the tomato soup was really good, this is a revelation. The crunch of the graham cracker just is so nice. It's, it's absolutely delicious. There's nothing weird at all about it. It's just a wonderful dessert. So the damage, uh, nothing too surprising, honestly. to street level and see what we can see. Look at this cool uh, sort of sign they have for Rotolo. Interesting. The little outdoor seating areas with fire pits. Neat. It's nice that along the sidewalk they have these places you can sit. There's this green area which connects to the bridge down there. If you want to visit Cincinnati. Now this is a treat, this is Opera House. It is a German restaurant. There's only a few of them in the world. It started in Munich, Germany. Now to pay your tickets, uh, you're gonna to want to insert them in these machines inside the garage. All right, so I think that's about gonna do it from Newport on the Levy. But this was, uh, in a sense, a really poor time for me to come down here because it was just totally wrecked with construction. But when everything opens up on May 29th, it's gonna give me a basis of comparison. I can see uh, all the different changes. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. And again, if you're interested in seeing, uh, you know, Hopper House Review or maybe the aquarium, then just let me know and we'll do that. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Shout out to the lady from Bluegrass and Sass. She had a cool little shop and she gave me so much helpful information. And she also gave us some fudge for free. Uh, she said that uh, they're, they're just kind of giving it out for Mother's Day. So anyway, I just wanted to thank her for that.